Hello everyone, today I want to show you how to create a triple cluster column chart with scatter points like the one that you're seeing here. So if you might find it familiar, it's actually a derived question from my audience for one of my previous chart of how to make a double clustered column chart with scatter points. And uh, for my purpose, I use it as a market analysis for the market data, which is my bars on the background, and uh, compare that with my employee pay data, which is my dots in the front. So then I got a question basically asking, okay, so we are comparing two sets of data, which is great. What about three? What if I need to compare three, um, three groups? So I did it. Um, normally, I would say like, you, um, I try to minimize the things that you wanna show in the charts as much as possible, just because there's already a lot of information and the more elements, the more bars you have, it, the more busy it looks. I think three is reasonable, um, but I think four will be a bit busy. So. Nonetheless, uh, I, I'm showing you how to make uh, three, um, three column charts as you are seeing here. So the business scenario that I'm creating for this is that this time I'm, I'm comparing the market pay competitiveness for three job uh, families. So the previous one is the IT service data analytics. I'm adding another one that's called cybersecurity and I wanna compare the market data as well as my internal employee pay competitiveness for them. So the way I set up the data is still similar to uh, what we did for the previous one. So I, um, so I still add it in my market data, which is a mask, that's the data to show for the bars. I make sure I have my cybersecurity market pay information lined up uh, by job grades. I also make sure that I have my cybersecurity department employees compensation number lined up and also their job grades lined up as well. So actually, um, to make it easy for my illustration, I actually just took a, a part of my previous data analytics and uh, IT service people um, and then just mark them as cybersecurity. So that's how I set up my data and then let's get down to how to make the chart. So last time we stopped here, so I wouldn't repeat this part. If you wanna know how we get to here, you can go back to review my previous uh, video. I'll have the link pasted below in the description. And now we have data, how do we create uh, the third bar as well as the third line of scatter points? The first thing that we do want to do is to create the bars. So to do that, you need to make sure you add in the set of data. And then you can select either bars, go to select data, and this is what you will see. And then we just want to add another bar for the cybersecurity. So the title will be the cybersecurity market pay. Um, we will want to show it as a bar. So we don't worry about the access for now. Let's just go to the Y's, clean it up, and then make sure you select the cybersecurity market data and leave it here. Um, you will see that it's actually showing you as dots. Like Excel basically automatically select the scatter plot chart type for you. That's okay, leave it, we'll come back to it later. And then the next thing to do is to add the employee data for cybersecurity into the chart. So now we have the data um, analytics and um, IT. Uh, for my purpose, I actually have to redo it because last time, if you look at my data selection, I was selecting some of those cybersecurity people, so I want to make sure I need to reselect them to make sure it only reflects my data analytics population as of now. So let's redo that. Um, and then the same thing for the IT service people. So I was selecting this group, which is not my uh, correct group now, so I will go back and reselect that and my salary information. So here, um, the X value will be my column access. Here, I'll explain that in a minute. And my Y access will be my individual compensation. And we have created, updated the employee data for those two groups. Now let's add the cybersecurity uh, employee data. Employee. I use EE for employee. My access um, X value will be this column, which I'll come back. And my Y axis will be my pay information. Okay, 
go. So now we have updated all the data we need for the chart. So we can now go OK and then focus on how to fix the visual per se. OK, so you can see now we also have our cybersecurity. So if you select this part of the dots, you will see it's here. Let's say we want to make it the same size as the previous one. So you right click and go to For My Data Series and you will see serial options. Go to this pane box, click Marker, Marker Option, Built In. It's built in. Um, you can change it change it to something else if you want. For size, I used nine before, so I would just continue to use size nine here. Um, I want it to be solid fill. Um, green's okay, I would take green. I want it to have a border so it's clear to see. So for my border, I choose a solid line of black. Yeah, so now my cybersecurity employees are lined up. Now let's change the market data pay here. So, so yeah, you see the blue dots there. If it's not showing in your chart as it is here, don't panic. You can always go to design um, and go to uh, go to select, go to format. Oh, oh, you can go to format. Uh, go to the plot area and then look for the series of cybersecurity market pay, and uh, it will help you to select this bar. Uh, okay, so now we need to change this. Oh, actually, I I actually made a mistake uh, because I think my cybersecurity and my data analytics people. Uh, market pay are the same. So let me just confirm that. My market data is right. Yeah, that's correct. My cybersecurity is showing the right data. Yes. Okay, I think, um, uh, I see. Yeah, see, I'm missing my IT service. So I will go fix that. So I actually need to fix my IT service data to make sure it reflects the data I want to show. And then here we go. Okay, so this is how the data will look up. And then now select the chart and then go to design and then go to change chart type. So you can see our chart looks only have two cluster columns, which are the data analytics and the cybersecurity. We also want our IT service market data to show as a bar. So to do that, we change, click here, and then make sure we change it to the cluster column chart. And then the other ones can stay the same as uh, the scattered ones. Okay, cool. So we have the bars and ready, and we have the our um, uh, lines. So also note that you can change the size of your bars of your columns if you don't like it by changing the gap, the width of your bars. Um, and for my purpose, I just keep it at a one fifty. Um, and you can also change the color of it if you don't like it. So for example, let's say I change it to something blue. Okay, so now our bars are fixed and let's fix our dots because you can see now the dots are clearly not lined up where they should be and uh, let's fix that. So to do that, um, the one that we have added is the cybersecurity one. And actually, let's say if I don't like it, I want it to be actually on the right hand side. So what I would do is actually I will move my IT service to the first. Yeah, um, well, it's just my preference because I, I think the IT service one will be the first one to the left. My data analytic is the second one and my cybersecurity is the third. They line up with my chart table as well. It's not required, it's just my personal reference, uh, preference. Okay, so now let's look at my um, dots. So first my uh, IT service red dots, you can see that when I click on them, they are lined up quite well with my um, IT like, uh, well, not quite well, but they're lined up with my IT bars. That's okay, I want to leave it. For my yellow dots, um, they're not lined up with my data analytics, so I want to fix that. They're now actually lined up with my cybersecurity market data, so I want to fix that. And then also for my cybersecurity people, they're lined up with uh, the IT service, and I want it to line up with my um, cybersecurity columns. Okay, so how do we do that? We basically fix their um, order by fixing 
the column for chart position. So just think when you have three columns, just think of it as the middle column is the one that you want to anchor for. So when it's, for example, if the grade is four, then you anchor at four. And for the one to the left hand side, you want to anchor it by maybe like 3.8. And then for the one to the right, maybe you want to anchor to 4.2. So let's, based on that principle, let's fix our column act, um, value here. So the formula that I have here um, is basically, I will fix it from the last version. So my rationale here is that if my category is data analytics, is in the middle, it will just be whatever the grade is. And if my job family is uh, IT services, then I want it to be on the left hand side, which for example, let's say I apply uh, like to, uh, 0.25 gap to it. And then if not, then for my data set, it can only be cybersecurity. And if it's, it is cybersecurity, I want to apply like 0.25 uh, addition to so that it will line up to the right. Okay, so now let's close the bracket and then copy down the formula and then see, let's see what we get. So in this chart, we already have them lined up with their, like basically our employees line up with their respective market pay, market bars, um, and they're looking pretty good. One thing that I wanna emphasize, just in case you're a professionalist and you might notice, for example, this dot is not exactly aligned to the middle of your bar. This can happen um, sometimes because the width, like the, the width of your bars or the size of your dots are kind of not aligned well. You can fix this in many different ways. Like for example, you can select your bars and then change your gap, gap, uh, gap width to make it look more aligned. Or you can also, like for example here, you can also adjust this coefficient to maybe let's say 0.15 and then you can see this will change as well. Or you can, maybe you, you can say, maybe that's too much, let's apply, instead of 0.15, let's apply 0.2. And then you can see this also change the position. So this, this can be some really subtle uh, adjustments just to make your chart look perfect. It doesn't really affect the story that we wanna tell here. So um, I guess I will leave those creativity for you. Um, and uh, this actually concludes my video. And uh, thank you and hope that you find this video helpful. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you like it. If you have any question, please leave me a comment and I will talk to you very soon.